Good morning, Journey. Journey is waiting at the gate for me. We're going to be playing together the enrichment game in the round pen because Journey has some a food arousal around his food bowl. I'll be videotaping this to make some good assessments. So, hi, buddy. Looking away, he always kind of goes, oh my gosh, she's videotaping again. So I'm going to just kind of move away over here. Good boy. It's a little bit of pressure now. He's looking behind. There's his herd. And here's another herd over here divided by a line. So yeah. Good morning, Journey. Good day in Minnesota today. About... 18 degrees this morning um, this is our round pen our indoor arena i've got all sorts of things hidden around the round pen for him to go and seek out his normal is pawing at his food bowl and moving it so we'll see what he does today with this he immediately went to his normal food bowl even though that there's other food sources around that he can seek out and there's some more Oops. over here if i don't trip so rio gets so it's really brisk out so he's a little up and there he goes with pine usually it's to move that food bowl and let's just see what he does he knows that i'm back here. Hi buddy. Hi sweetheart. Knows Rio's over there. He's just checking it out. Checking out the ground. Going out. So like I said, the ground is really, really hard. It it rained and snowed the last couple days. So we've got really hard craters of the moon, hardness of the the, the dirt. So a lot of horses don't like moving around either. So that things up on the mounting block too. So you can see that even though I put the food bin or the food bowl in the middle, um, he tends to find a place that he likes better. And we'll see if he does that today. And we'll see that if he looks around after he's done, what does he want to do with that? I'm not going to say a word. Usually I try to help him with this, but he has a better place than I do, I guess. But I see it as food arousal and food anxiety. Sometimes he even dumps it over. And sometimes he feels really, he acts like he's really proud of it. But he really likes this, as you can see. So um, I don't see this as calmness. Now his... His brother over here is usually very calm around. He doesn't move his food bowl. Um, he truly loves his food too, but that's his brother. And you can hear Journey right now. So my plan is to do really um, small sessions with him, especially around food. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Now we're back. Had to go let his little brother, who was actually 17, um, out into his paddock so we could continue. He has moved his food bowl just a little bit. Still, he has moments of calmness and then he needs to move it. So, it's a really good reminders for me. In the arena, he can move it all across the half of the arena. So. Um, I've been working on him being tied to the rail inside and I have to stand near him but as you can see um, it's not easy for him as you can see he's moving it with his nose so see what he does with the other things around where there's food on the ground if he does the same thing
Hunter's Journey at the alfalfa pile. We do have a lot of horses at our ranch. So I, um, at the hay bales, um, which are rounds, as you can see over here, um, we do get a lot of jostling for position. So um, I do observe him quite often. And when it's really quiet, it's beautiful. But when um, I call it the dance around the, the hay bale sometimes. So this is Journey. Um, at, at a towel. Now I didn't hide this. I didn't want to spook him. So, um, yeah. And he's very quiet here. Very different than around supplements. But this is alfalfa. I don't have any regular, what we would call Timothy grass or hay grass. Um, out is just alfalfa today. So um, I thought I'd give him a little treat. I want to see what, what happens when I come closer. So that gets a little nervous. Did you see him pine? So I'm going to step back again away and see if that changes things for him. So um, food guarding could be part of this. But you saw that he started and when I walked a little bit farther away, not much farther away, but just enough. And I'm going to go back again and see if I get the same kind of response from him. And Journey is a seven-year-old Nakoda. Brought here when he was three. I've only used positive reinforcement, but I'm really delving deeper into it. Um, using the connection training method right now. Good boy. And he seems to be quiet with me. Eye-opening experience for me, recognizing how much food arousal anxiety there is amongst our herd here. And um, working diligently, he just moved, as you can see, the wonderful little towel to get more of the lovely alfalfa nuggets, as we can call it. Um, he seems very relaxed, ears are soft, body is soft. Also using the technique that was out of the despooking sessions of putting things around in a circle. Now the mounting block can be a high, you know, this could be our wonderful um, sandwich with, with in the middle is the mounting block. I put two carrots, a higher reward value. And, um, but he's still munching away at that hay. He has other opportunities also to get some of this deliciousness and walk around the round pen, hopefully not being anxious. Um, a couple weeks ago, he had a kind of traumatic experience where they moved the herds around and he was in here and the herds were galloping and he just got scared out of his wits. And of course he was with one of my apprentices and um, really what I would call had a major in US terms freak out. And um, I let him go um, and he could run if he wanted to in the, in the round pen, but he didn't. Instead, he just went into a full fled shaking and it took quite a while for him to relax. And so for the last two weeks, I've been working with, of course, getting a calm and relaxed pony again. And him being born in the wild, this is a really big deal. So um, I've never seen him or I've never seen a horse react that strongly to um, horses galloping. He's had that before, but being in a round pen changed everything. So I'm trying to have good associations in the round pen right now. Now Journey is gonna go walk around, seeing what else is available in here. There's lots of little um, treasures for him to find. Um, there's the University of Minnesota football. You know, he likes to pick up things and, and throw them. So um, we'll see. So he missed the carrots. He's gonna go over to the little cone with hay in it. So he found that pretty easily. And I'm sure that this is a really wonderful experience for him. And he loves picking up the cone also. We'll see what he does with that. And I'll... Yeah, he's kind of playing with it a little bit. 
So I like that we're, we're giving him opportunity to walk around seeking after the food. I love this, um, this little session right here. And I hope to be doing it with my students' horses. I think this will be wonderful for us to see. Can, can our horses be calm in this round pen? Because there can be a lot of negative associations in a round pen, a lot of pressure. Journey's never had to face it but a lot of horses here have been chased around and around. So um, I love it that he can be in here and be calm today. A couple weeks after his really scary time, which he wouldn't even come in here um, day after day. So this is a really exciting for me to see. We even have a scary bag right here. Um, he really doesn't have much problems with thing hanging. He likes to pick him up pick him up and shake him, but in the round pen, he's never really had any kind of toys in here at all or scary objects. So I'm just seeing if that will worry him. I'll take it down if it's too scary, because again, it's just, I put it up there because I carried stuff in with it and it's still there waving in the wind. So a little bit of wind today on this, you know, November day before Thanksgiving. So. And there he goes. He's seeking after a couple nuggets in that little bowl. That was fun. So I think he's enjoying this little. But again, this is pretty close to that bag. So he may be a little concerned about that. We'll see. And I'm standing here too. You can see my shadow. So I'm going to move away so that he doesn't feel like I'm right in there with him. But you can see he likes to move the bowls around, which is different than really moving the hay. So, and he may just pick this bowl up too. He likes to pick things up with his mouth. Um, you can see how far he's moving this. Um, it's part of his MO. The, he's been this way since the day I started feeding him. Um, like I said, he's a little wild boy, um, born in the wilds of North Dakota. And you can see he's trying to get at the last nugget. So see where he decides. So he's a little bit more wired right here and a little bit more anxious. Luckily, his winky tinky, as I call it, isn't down his penis. So I think that's a really good sign that um, he's more relaxed than in the indoor arena. Sometimes that will drop. And now he's eating some more of that and we'll see where else Journey wants to go. Oh, take a deep breath, blow out. So that was kind of maybe stressful with that bag right there. And there's the bag, as you can see. And you can see how far he's moved it. And he still thinks, and now he's picking it up and wanting to play with it. I like that he likes to play. He likes to hand things to me, usually without asking. So let's see where else he goes. So there's some carrots on top of the mounting block. See if he finds anything up on top. Ah, there we go. He goes, oh. There we go, and it's kind of frozen up there, so maybe the carrots will be frozen. Good. He's munching on those. Mounting block can be a really fun place. I've been doing a lot of Liberty work, having him come to the mounting block at Liberty. Um, again, since his scary thing, I've slowed everything down again. Um, we've had two scary incidences, so, and I'll talk about that later. So here we go, there's some nuggets up on top, but he thinks that the hay is a better thing. Or the alfalfa, excuse me, it's not hay. Looks like hay. So he's looking at the bag right there. Well, let's see if he plays with the top. And I could have put Rio in here, but I thought that it would be a really good way of instead they're, they're brothers from different mothers who they, they tolerate each other. So um, I actually put them in separate herds 
because they love to play, but they also, um, Rio likes to boss him around, being the older brother, and Journey's getting up into his own, and so he thinks that he can boss him around. So, as you can see this whole time, Journey has not come over to me to investigate why I'm here, what I'm doing. He's just enjoying eating. Journey, oh, did you decide to come over and see me now? Oh, sweetheart. Yeah. What other adventures can you find? Oh, let's see what other adventures. So he's going to look over there. He's kind of stayed to this area, which is kind of fascinating. Let's see what else, where else he wants to go, because there's stuff in the blue bowl. There's stuff hidden under the cardboard so he's still seeking isn't he I like this I like that he's kind of looking around not anxious so his food bins get get a little bit of anxiety from what I'm seeing um, I said I'm still working on it I'm you know putting my thinking helmet on, trying to help him through all of this. He's going back to that bowl, seeing if there's anything in there. See where else that he'll go. Finishing up that alfalfa over there. Oh, now smelling, smelling his neighbor's poops. And there we're gonna come and fall. Oh, see, he got kind of spooked by that. That's cardboard. And so it's kind of hiding. He had to kind of look for it. There's nuggets up on top. There's carrots over there. I don't know if you can see them, but to the left of him, there's some carrots on the ground. So we'll see what he does with that. He's, you know, the alfalfa has been a really big draw today. So that's good. He's now found a blue bucket. Again, you can see the bowls. It's gonna gotta either play with it. I'm standing in the round pen right now as I picked up a couple things. So you can see him moving it. This is his norm. There's another food bucket over there too. One over there. There's some nuggets on the mounting block, some carrots over there. So he still has more treasures to find. But you can see how far he's moved that from over here to there. So any advice that anyone has over this, I'm just showing you um, at Liberty, this is where he wants those bowls to go. Now it goes, he's found that pan. Now there isn't much in each one of these pans because I already gave him his food supplements with some Timothy pellets in it. I think in, over in the UK, I think you call them, um, I'm not sure, uh, grass nuts or hay nuts. Not sure, but we call them Timothy pellets here. So now he's gonna kind of look around, see if there's anything else. So let's go investigate. He's gonna go investigate. Oh, he found the football finally. How fun is that? He goes, yep, that's nothing. He's coming over to me. He goes, well, what, what do we have? Now, oh, there's, there's Journey Rio's food bowl. He's checking out right over there. He's pretty fun about. So let's see if he can find anything else. I don't know if he's good at it. I've never put carrots on the ground before. So let's see if he can. And maybe he won't find them. I don't know, I'm not gonna show them to him. Back to nibbling the last alfalfa nibbles. I'm 
seeing a little bit of Timothy pellets on top of the cardboard. What a smart boy. Let's see if he finds those carrots. Usually I don't like putting things on the ground because it's so sandy and I don't like them eating. Oh, he might find it. Oh, he just walked past him. And back to the food bowl. This is a long session, everybody. I think those were Indiri's oats. Let's see what else he does. He still he goes and picks up nuggets.